Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. This is Hani Ismail from Planning Engineer website. And in this video, we will start doing some interesting work. Now we are going to uh, convert or copy the updates from the schedule into our database. So I prepared for you, you will find in the attached below this video, two files. These two files uh, are uh, Primavera files. They have two updates. And when we are talking about the updates here, this is the first thing we are going to see uh, benefit of the Power BI and our system to monitor the progress and know what happens every or each week. What I'm telling, or what I'm trying to say is, in Primavera, when you open an update, you don't know the history. You see the picture as of this update. But in our case, we want to know what happened, what was the progress in every week. So we will copy the updates in different weeks to know the progress for each week if there is delays where it happens in he, in which week and this is very useful if you are preparing a claim or such uh, investigation if you want to know the delays of the project when it happens in the traditional way using Primavera only you have to open uh, all the files all the updates and see the planned value earned value in each update but in our system in this course we will know exactly if there is any uh, uh, variances in between the planned and the earned value we will know without uh, opening all the files so let's start immediately now we have the update number one okay so we'll go to the resource assignment and we will start copying now same what we did in the plant but here we will choose the actual units so here we have the actual units according to the update and this update is showing a data date we know we need to know this one here our data date is 5th July 2019 okay so I'm going to copy the actual units up to this date click for first one and shift click the last one and as we said you have to be patient because this is a huge amount of data and once we transferred the information from Primavera into our database you will find how fast we can uh, deal with the data without this hanging in Primavera and the other softwares. Power BI is designed to deal with large data so this is a, a very good uh, option in the Power BI so you have to be patient until it is selected now it is selected I will make right click then copy also I will wait until it is copied okay I'll go to my sheet here in the earned value and right click paste one two three or values okay so now I want to see I'll change this one to date so I know my date now I want to see where is my last date here we say that we have in the activities our data date is 5th July so I will delete everything after 5th July June so here here from here I have nothing actually so I'll delete all of this data and this will be my first update so I'm going to click first update the difference between first update and next update this is what I was talking about in few, uh, few minutes ago that I want to record the earned values per week 
the primavera who never you do an update it will uh, make a cumulative or and redistribute the actual units to the duration and this is not accurate actually because i want to know each week what was the earned value in each week as an actual and you are going to see this one in when we starting doing our reports and uh, this is a very nice uh, option in our system so i'm go uh, after click first update i have to wait for a uh, few minutes the macro will copy all this data for me in the earned value tab so here the first update is already completed I'll go to check the first update now from the uh, earned value uh, here I have one date is uh, uh, beyond the completion date so I will pay pass the date formula I'll make it one break all this one in the first week no problem now I want to check that let me make all of this one one okay now I want to check that it is copied correctly so from here I will check the cost here is a BMC cost and I will check the units it is 26 million 162 here in Primavera 26 million 160 so there is 2000 uh, differences no problem so here if you want to uh, eliminate this uh, differences we can show the decimals here so from edit user preferences time unit I'm going to choose two decimals this should make the uh, calculation accurate because here if we are not considering the decimals and there is decimals in the formula or for in the calculation this will affect the total so by showing this decimal you might reduce the variances between the primavera calculation and the excel calculation however uh, 2000 is not a big deal uh, comparing to uh, 20 million plus so this is the first update so i'm going to close this project now and i will open the second update and here is the as i told you this is a, a very nice uh, building database because uh, promovera cannot tell uh, what was the variances between the planned and the actual in the as a historical data it will give you always the picture as of the last data available so the first update was behind the schedule the second update is ahead of the schedule so if you open the second update you might think that uh, uh, the contractor was always ahead of the schedule However, later on, when, when, when we go to the reporting and start doing the reports, we'll find exactly when the contractor shifted from behind the schedule to ahead the schedule. And this is the benefit of the uh, having database in details. So I'm going now to copy the second update and put it in our database. But before doing this, let me save this one. Here, as we said, I can bypass this for January. I'll make it one. Not in order not to change this again, but uh, there's nothing. Only I'm assigning these values to uh, the first week. That's it. I'll go to the very end. This one, nothing here, so I'll delete it. Okay, then earned value, I will delete also everything here. And let's see the Primavera, which is opening the second project. And I'm going to copy the data now, but in this time, I'm going to choose the second update or next update here in my Excel next update. What will happen? The Excel sheet will calculate the earned value for each item and will deduct whatever in the previous and will put in this period or this week the differences between the two by doing this i knew 
this week what was the actual update what was the actual units what was the actual uh, earned value and i'll keep recording it like this so if you are starting a new project let's say you uh, are using this course to start monitoring your project now and you decided to start let's say from the uh, whatever uh, latest update you have so from the latest update you have consider this one as first update then next updates do it as next update next update and so on i'll tell you how to do it but well, since uh, uh, the program is having too many activities taking some times and i uh, intentionally uh, prepared or uh, used a big program for this uh, course in order to tell you the variances between the performance of Primavera and the Power BI. As you can see here, my PC is struggling to open the uh, Primavera schedule. However, we are going now to copy two schedules and a lot of data in the Excel and we'll use PowerPoint with no issues at all. But uh, yeah, let's wait for the Primavera until it open the project, the second update. So this is the second update. As you can see here, the earned value is more than the planned value. So it means we are ahead. So let's go to the resource assignment like we did last time. We'll copy this one, shift. and will be patient until it is selected all now right click copy I'll go to the earned value right click one two three or base values now let's see what here the data date data date is up to 12 july so here i'm going to delete whatever after 12 july here is 12 july i'm going to delete everything after it then delete and this time i'm going to use next update as I explained to you here, it is showing the previous, so it will calculating the previous from your uh, database. Then it will get the variance between the previous and this update, and only this variance will be loaded to the uh, earned value sheet. It's very useful to build a real data or a real situation, what exactly happened, what was uh, actual progress in every week. As I told you before that Primavera doesn't do this. So we have a benefit here of using the Power BI rather than it is fast and more powerful in reporting and have too much uh, options. Also we have uh, the option to show the actual progress every week. As you can see here the uh, process already completed and this is the uh, items with this update only so if we go to the uh, earned value we will found here that the very end, the very end here we'll find that there is one uh, set of data was copied but you might ask yourself one question here here the data date is 12 July where the data in the progress was putting in the 5th July date why because we are here talking about the week starting 5th July so this week will start from 5th July up to the uh, the data date so this is is correct this is not uh, wrong uh, because the plan date also will we want to compare the actual data for the week starting 5th July with the plan date for the week starting 5th July so this is not the uh, issue now let's see uh, check here the actual or the cost 
here the units after this time we did it with decimals so we have here 28 million 843677 let's see in primavera 28 million 843677 exactly the same there uh, as the earned value so in that case i'm happy with this one so i'm going to save you can find this sheet for your reference uh starting from the next section we're doing our reports and uh, i hope this uh, uh, uh section and the previous section wasn't too long this is the preparation of the data now we'll start our fun doing amazing reports i wish you enjoyed this video see you in the next lesson